All right, guys, here's a quick rundown on the Hemingway Old Fashioned. We're going to make it the same way as uh, our regular Old Fashioned. So we're going to use rum, a little bit of Swedish punch, and we're going to bottle a banana instead of an orange. So I'm going to start by taking a slice of banana peel. We want to use a, uh, a ripe banana, not a green one. And if it's a little bit brown, it's okay. We just want the peel to be sweet. I'm going to drop that in there. We're going to do a half ounce of uh, turbinado or demerara, whatever your recipe calls for. A few dashes of barrel-aged whiskey bitters. And we're going to muddle. Once you've muddled the banana flavor into the syrup, We're going to go for two ounces of the private label Papa's Pilar 24 Year Dark. This is uh, re-barreled for 120 days in Angel's Envy barrels and then re-bottled. And uh, can't get this anywhere else in Dallas except for Parliament. And we have our NL Group label on the side. And so it's going to be a little bit more bourbony, have more bourbon characteristics because the Angel's Envy barrels. We're going to do a half an ounce of Cronin Swedish Punch just to lighten it up a little bit. It's a lower proof rum liqueur. If the customer wants it stronger, then just leave the cronin out, but I think this smooths it out. Stir. Thirty times, of course. And we're going to strain it over a big rock. Because of the banana peel, I would suggest double straining to make sure there's no banana, you know, meat or uh, little floaties in there. And then the garnish, if you want to use uh, banana peel or the banana meat in a garnish, that's fine, but I still want uh, to give it a nice nose, so we're going to do uh, the orange zest in combination with that. That'll give it a nice nose. And there is the Hemingway Old Fashioned.